you have two assignments. Your first assignment is going to be to check and see if you have any missing work in my class and get it done. And your second assignment is you're going to play a math game on ABC uh, and send me a picture of your final score. Okay, let's get started with the first one. Now, parents and at-home helpers, this is going to be a handy little trick that you can use in all of the Schoology classes. Okay, now, first things first, I have been hearing that some people are saying, I can't see your video lessons. That's because you're not going to my Schoology class. I have a lot of people who see the assignment come up and they are just clicking on the assignment, but you have to go to my Schoology class first, okay? So let's talk about how you see my Schoology class first. When you are in courses, only 12 courses can appear in this dropdown. Unfortunately, my class is your 13th course. So if you haven't rearranged your classes yet, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you're in courses, you're gonna click right here under your name where it says my courses. Boys and girls have an at-home helper help you with this. You click on my courses and then all of your courses show up here. I have a lot of courses. You're gonna click the gray button that says reorder courses and you're gonna scroll down and you can see under this line, you still have all these classes, but they don't appear. So you're going to find my class. Let's pretend this is my class, it's not. You're gonna find my STEAM class and click it and drag it up and you're gonna put it right under your teacher's class, okay? Your teacher's, your classroom teacher should be first and then put me right under it. So now when you click on courses, there's that, whoopsies, there's that one that I just dragged up there, okay? You can put all of your specials on the top this way. So once again, you click My Courses, you click the gray button that says Reorder Courses, and you can move your classes around to any order that you want. So Mrs. Kessel's class is at the bottom of your list where it says courses that appear below this line will not appear in the courses dropdown. Mine's usually right here on people's screens Grab it and drag it up to the top so that when you click on courses, my special will be right there, okay? So then after you do that, you have to click on my class and go into my class. And it looks something like this. This is my kindergarten class. Each of my classes look the same, except that you are going to have a different color, okay? So each grade has a different color, but it will look, and look the same and say the same things. So when you are in the class to get to your work every week, you first click on the purple button and there'll be a short video, me saying hello, giving some directions. Then you click on the blue button. When you click on the blue button, I'm gonna move this up, I don't know why this keeps going down, you see all my folders with my work in it. Each week you have a different folder. This is week 10, you would click this, you would open the video and the assignment and watch everything, just like you're doing right now, okay? So that's how you get to my work every week. You have to watch the video lesson because I give the directions for the assignment in the video lesson, so make sure you're watching that every week. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I wanna show you how to see missing work because some of you, because you haven't been able to see my class, haven't been doing some of my work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And parents, helpers at home, this is great. You can do this in every special and in your classroom teacher's class, okay? So I'm going to view this as a student, okay. And when you're in here, all of your teachers have this menu on the left and it says materials, updates, grades. We're gonna click on grades. You can do this in every Schoology class. And when you do, it shows all of the assignments that that teacher has posted. It also shows the grades your teacher has given you and if your teacher has left any comments so you can see what your teacher had to say. You can also see if something is missing. So if there is just a dash like this next to an assignment, that means it's not turned in yet, okay? If there is a dash, but there's a little paper next to it, 
That means that paper means you turned something in, but the teacher didn't grade it yet. So this person turned in their work last weekend. I haven't had a chance to grade it yet, but I know it's there because the little paper is there. That just means the teacher hasn't graded it yet. If there is a grade, that means the teacher saw it, okay? But if there's just a line and no paper and no grade, that means you didn't turn it in yet. So this is for this week's assignment, so of course this person didn't turn it in yet. But if you have something missing, it will just be a dash. If you want to go to that assignment, you're like, oh no, I didn't do this one. All you have to do is click on it, and it takes you right to the assignment and the directions. And it tells you what folder it's in. It's in the folder in my class called Old Assignments, which is in this week's work. So I could go back to the folder to see this. Oh, it was in the week seven folder. I could open the week seven folder up and I could see, oh, here's the video with the directions. Here's the link. Here's my assignment. So that way I can get to everything my teacher has posted. So once again, you go to grades and then it shows you each assignment. You can click on this, the assignment and it will take you right to it. You can see your grades. If the teacher has left you any comments, you can see what they are, and you can also see if you're missing something, okay? So this week, what I would like you to do is to check your grades for my class, and if you have something that you're missing, I would like you to take the time this week to do it, to get caught up, okay? Once you have done your missing work and you're caught up, you can do the next step. If you have no missing work and you're caught up on everything, you can skip straight to the second step, okay? So this week's assignment after you do your missing work is this. You're gonna click this week's work and you're gonna open this week's folder which is week 10 missing work and tur turkey touchdown. Once you get there, you're going to click here where it says missing work and turkey touchdown, okay? Now, the video will be posted here. I'm making the video right now, so it's not showing up here yet, but the video will be right here. And the directions say, please watch the whole video lesson before doing anything else. Directions for this week's assignment are in the video, the video that you're watching now. So what you have to do is you are going to have to go to this website called ABCA and you're gonna play this turkey touchdown game. When you click the link in Schoology, you might get a message that looks like this. You have two choices to get to ABCA. You can click the title, turkey touchdown again, or you can click this little square with the arrow. Either one you click will open up a new tab and open up the game in ABCA. So all you have to do is click one of those. Now, ABC on some games does have ads. Boys and girls, we don't click, okay? It's not like YouTube. You can't skip it. You just have to watch. But we don't click on it, boys and girls. We just sit patiently until it's done. Okay. So this game, like I said, is a math game. And I picked turkey touchdown because this week is Thanksgiving. And we know we eat turkey on Thanksgiving and we decorate with turkeys. And we also, um, people watch football on Thanksgiving. So we picked turkey touchdown to start November. So when you get here, you're gonna say, oh, okay, you should not log in. You can play this game for free. Okay, don't log in, don't click join premium, don't do any of that. So it says select a level. Depending on what grade you're in, you can choose your level. So, you know, if you're pretty good at math, you can maybe choose medium or hard. If you're just learning your math, you can choose easy. So I suggest starting out with easy if you don't know what to do. Then you say okay. Then it's going to ask you what kind of math you want. Do you want to do adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? If you are in kindergarten and first grade and second grade, I want you to choose adding and subtracting, okay? 
Second graders, if you can do the adding and the subtracting on hard, then you can move to multiplication, okay? But I want my kindergartners and first graders and second graders just doing the adding and subtracting. You can choose which one you want first. So you click it and say, okay. And here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get a problem. So I got one plus seven and you have to answer it. There are three choices at the bottom. I know one plus seven is eight, so I click eight. And it moves me forward. Then I have three plus four. I know that is seven, so I click seven. So the more questions I get right, the further I move up. But let's say I get something wrong. I know that five plus four is actually nine, but I'm gonna click 10 and, uh-oh, it starts me all the way at the back. So for this game, it is smarter to take your time and think about your answers instead of rushing because if you rush, you get sent all the way back to the 50 yard line, bummer. So once you solve all of the problems and you get to the end zone, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm in the end zone. So I have to aim. This is moving wherever I want it to aim for. When the football's in the right spot, I click aim. So I'm going to click it there. Then this is how hard you want the turkey to kick. Do you want it to kick light or hard? Light or hard? I want it to kick hard, so I'm going to click it when it's up there. Let's see what happens. Oh, I missed. So you get to try again a couple times until it goes through the field goal. I got it. Yay. I get two chances to get a field goal. Bummer, I went to the side. I'm going to try again. So you get to kick, you get two times to get it through. Oh, too high, I think. And it's trickier than it looks. Good job, I got it. Okay, so now I go to the next level and it's going to get a little harder. At the end, when you finish your game, here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to either take a screenshot if you know how, or just use your parents' phone and take a picture of your final score, okay? To prove to me that you played it. And then you're gonna go back into Schoology, oops, and you're gonna go back to the assignment. And I don't have the submit button on my teacher screen, but you will have the submit button over here and you're going to turn in your picture. To turn in picture, you, you would choose upload because you're gonna send it to your computer and save it on your computer. You choose upload to send me the picture, okay? If you have any questions about how to get me the picture, just ask, all right? So this week, you have to do your missing work first. And in the video, I showed you how to get to that. Then you get to play turkey touchdown. And then you're going to send me a picture of your turkey touchdown. Parents and at-home helpers, if you have any questions about how to do any of this, please let me know and I am happy to help. Later this week, I will be sending out an email about um, office hours where I will just be on Zoom for anyone who needs help, okay? So please keep an eye out in your email for that. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your turkey touchdowns. Bye.